remark that uh, this is the first visit by a president of the Philippines in the history of Israel. It is deeply appreciated. We remember the exceptional role of the Philippines that received Jewish refugees during the Holocaust. We remember that the Philippines was the only Asian country that voted for the establishment of the State of Israel in the UN resolution in 1947. Mr. President, we remember our friends. And that friendship has blossomed over the years, and especially over the last few years. We're going to sign here today three important agreements in trade, in science, and no less important, in caregiving. There has been a remarkable phenomenon in Israel where thousands and thousands of families have taken heart from the support given by Filipino care workers to the elderly. I am one of those families, Mr. President. My late father, who died at the age of 102, in his later years, received incredible care by a, a caregiver from the Philippines, Lee, a woman of exceptional compassion and intelligence. She took care of my father's every need. And when he passed away, she took care of his brother's needs until he passed away. I, like many, many Israeli families, am deeply moved by this uh, show of humanity. And today we're going to sign an agreement that will knock off as much as $12,000 from the cost of every caregiver. This is t money that is taken away from the caregivers and the families, the Israeli families, who so want their service. This is an exceptional agreement, uh, and it, I think, heralds the kind of friendship that we are developing. And so in that spirit, again, Mr. President, I welcome you to Israel. Welcome to Jerusalem. Welcome. Mr. President. Um, Good afternoon to everybody, Mr. Prime Minister. I am very honored uh, to visit uh, the State of Israel. Uh, it was an invitation extended uh, with the uh, hope that this country will continue with its uh, friendly and warm relationship. I'd like to thank the State of Israel for the so many assistance given us. Uh, that I'd be good to mention it, but uh, in terms of uh, the Moravi siege, uh, we got help uh, and, uh, from your country. Thank you for that. And thank you for hosting almost 28,000 Filipinos. Uh, they have been uh, very happy working here, taking care of the aging uh, uh, population of yours, uh, citizens. And, uh, uh, I have heard that they have been treated as uh, human beings. Uh, unlike in other places, of which I am not deputy to mention now, but uh, uh, the way that uh, they have been uh, uh, received here uh, was shown last night with the jubilation. And of course, uh, every time I mention about the kindness and benevolence of uh, Israel, we could hear a thunder clap. And I am sure that uh, uh, they came from the heart. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, I can only thank you so much, uh, especially the critical help that you have extended my country in time when we needed it most. Uh, uh, the recent trouble in my uh, the Philippines, uh, oh, the extent of uh, the help that you extend was very critical in winning the war. I could have dragged on, were it not for the uh, very substantial and uh, crucial uh, equipment, uh, which I'm not also at liberty to say now, but it was a help uh, to preserve the Republic of the Philippines. And I thank you for that. Thank the State of Israel, the people. And uh, I, I hope that uh, this uh, ties of ours will continue over the year. And I think uh, I have my daughter here, who oh, is uh, a Zimmerman. You know, actually, she is a descendant of a Jew who went to the Philippines and uh, uh, to 
centered down there many, many years ago uh, during the time of the Holocaust. Uh, we received the Israel and uh, their families, and I'm sure that many of them have spread all throughout the country. And one of them is the family of my uh, the, the daughter. It's not even there, but the, the mother was a, a, a homegrown uh, Zimmerman uh, in our place. Thank you, and uh, may we continue to be blessed with a strong relationship. I do not think that there will ever be a time when uh, there is an irritation even within the two countries. We share the same passion for peace. We share the same passion for uh, human beings. But we also you know, share the same passion of not allowing our country to be destroyed by those who have been corrupt. Ideology who knows nothing but to kill and destroy. In this sense, uh, Israel can expect any help that the Philippines can extend to your country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much, much Mr. President. President.